Good morning, Grade Six. Welcome back to Grade Six Mathematics class. Hope you all are doing great today. Let's start a new chapter today, Chapter Eleven, Geometry. So, what is geometry? You know, mathematics has got many different branches, and geometry is that branch of mathematics that studies different shapes, figures, and their measurements. So, we live in a world full of shapes. So, what is a shape? You see, a shape is an outline or boundary of an object, or a shape. So there are shapes which are open, like the letter C in English alphabet, and there are shapes which are closed, like the letter D in the English alphabet. Now, every shape has got its own measurements, or we call the measurements as dimensions. The length, the breadth, the height, the width, the angle—these are all dimensions of a shape or a figure. Now, on the basis of dimensions, we can classify shapes into two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes. So, what are two-dimensional or two-D shapes? So, like the name indicates, two-D shapes or flat shapes or plane shapes have got only two dimensions, which is their length. And width, or length and breadth. Now, you can lay down the two-dimensional shapes or flat shapes on a flat surface or a plane, or you can draw them on a flat surface like a paper. Now, what about three-dimensional or three D shapes? You see, three-dimensional shapes or three D shapes of solid shapes have got three dimensions. That is, the length, the width or breadth, and the height or the depth. So, since 3D shapes have got three dimensions. They occupy a space. Now, here you can see a few 2D shapes or plane shapes or flat shapes. You are all familiar with these shapes: the triangle, the rectangle, square, circle. You can draw all these shapes on a flat surface or a plane surface. So, to draw each of these shapes on a plane, we can start with different points. You can mark different points on a plane, and you can join these dots using lines or line segments. Now, what about solid shapes? See, here are a few examples of solid shapes. You are already familiar with these shapes. The first one you can see it is a cube ball. The next one is a cube. The next one is a sphere. The next one is a cylinder. The next one is a cone, and so on. Now, how can we draw these solid shapes? Similar to two-dimensional shapes. You can start with different points in a plane. You can join these dots using lines or line segments, and then you have to move or rotate that plane to obtain the solid shapes. So this makes them different from the plane shapes or two D shapes. So in all these cases, you start with a point or different points. You join them with lines or line segments, and then you move this plane or rotate this plane to get different shapes. So you can see the basics of geometry are dependent on the three very basic concepts called the point, the line, and the plane. In this chapter, we are going to learn more about each of these in detail. We'll also learn about different shapes, different polygons, and their properties. So that's all for today, children. Now I want all of you to have a look at page number one hundred fifty-four of your textbook. Do you see the flashback exercise there? So this is going to brush up your knowledge in geometry. So all of you, please work out the questions from flashback exercise as the homework for the day. And once you are done with the answers, you can take a picture and send us through Teams. So see you all in the next class. Till then, bye.